Prehab, rehab, and doing what you thought was impossible. What up, what up guys, it's Friday. Nate Johnson, owner and head trainer of Steel String Training, gym owner, fitness entrepreneur, dude just trying to get out there and hustle and make something happen. So here's the deal, just got done with lunch with my financial advisor and good friend, Scott McKnight. If you need insurance, disability insurance, life insurance, advice on your finances, investments for long term, retirement baby, you gotta be thinking about when you're 65 now, you ain't gonna be hustling as hard because that back's gonna be hurting, so you're gonna need some money in a retirement account, all right? So you need to go check out Scott McKnight at uh, Northwestern Mutual. All right, anyway, so, but we just got done talking about, you know, just what it's like being an entrepreneur, being in sales, trying to make something happen. And I was just talking to him about my story, about how I just recently quit school. So for those of you that don't know, I just quit school recently. I've been running this gym, steel strength training, for a couple years now. And I didn't think it was going to come to this. I'd always thought since 10th grade in high school I was going to be a PT. But the longer I was in school, the more I just realized I was miserable. This is not what I wanted to do. But I stuck with it because I thought, hey, like... You know, this is what you're supposed to do. You got to put in your time. You know, maybe I'm miserable, but you know, I kept telling myself it's going to be worth it, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, man, like it is not worth it for me to be sitting in here to come out making 80K and be stuck there. Um, it just wasn't what I wanted. It's just not what I wanted to do. It's not for me. No hate on those PTs out there. My friends and classmates are going to be awesome at what they do. But just wasn't for me. All right. And I think a lot of people are out there. You know, they they just aren't happy at their job or or maybe they're happy with their job, but there's a side gig they want to do. Maybe they want to get into photography, art. Maybe they enjoy managing social media accounts, whatever it is. You know, people want to start a side gig or they think about it, but they don't know what to do. So here's the deal. I just want to tell you, all right, I want to tell you that you can make your dreams come true. Now I'm figuring this stuff out along the way, but I just recently got to a point where I can say I can pay the bills and that is a nice thing to say as a gym owner, an entrepreneur. I used to think that day that day would never happen without a physical therapy degree, but guess what? It did and I'm still hustling. I'm still hungry for more and I want that to start for that to happen for you guys, right? So if you are looking to... Um, you know, start a business, just make money doing something that you love, I would love to talk to you, all right? I'm not saying I got all my stuff to, together. I'm not saying I'm the, you know, best business advisor in the world. But listen, I would just love to have a conversation with you. I would love to help because I know how much it means to me to know that I'm getting compensated to do something that I absolutely love. And I would just really love to see you do the same thing. So here's the deal. Just believe that what you want to do is possible. Reach out to me and I'm going to help you out, all right? I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about not charging you anything. I'm not worth any money right now for business advice. But you get what you pay for. And so that's free. So take it with a grain of salt. But I would love to help you. If you got questions, comments, concerns, you want, you got an idea, but you don't know how to make it, you know, make it happen. Talk to me because I would love to help. I believe that you can do what you want to do. You can make money doing what you love. You just got to make sure it's marketable and come up with a good plan. So there it is. Happy Friday. I'm headed home to the wife. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day because I certainly plan to see you guys Monday morning.